Right, hello guys, uh, match bit dry. Uh, coming back today, I'm uh, going to follow up on the video from yesterday again. Uh, as you can see here, we got to this point where we had done the uh, interior and the cover, and I've just wrote out this one here, uh, which if I open this up in the notepad, this is what we've got here. So I like to do this, I need to save this file as well. And literally what I do guys is I put the name of the book and I put T and D for title and description. Um, and then here I put title, so there's my title, my subtitle, I've got puzzle gifts, a fun way to finding number, numbers, number puzzles, should be numbers, in the puzzle, mm. yeah, finding numbers, comma, puzzles that are for kids, adults, and seniors. That's my subtitle. Then, who the book is by, the author name, description, and then I like to highlight book and search and find puzzle again. Um, none of this gets uh, indexed anyway, so you don't have to go too mad on it just a little bit about what the book is and who it's for, what it can do. Um, that's a little bit there. And then I'll put features, premium cover design, high quality matte finish, large book size. And then inside the book, we've got 126 pages, 100 certain phone number puzzles, and then solutions. And then click the buy button right now to order your copies today. That's as simple as it goes. And then here I've got a few keywords for the back end that I've wrote out. I'm not sure if this is enough yet. Um, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven lines. So they should fit. <laughs> we'll do that on the upload. Um, and then what I like to do, guys, is copy this description from here. Take this, highlight all this down to here, and then copy it. And then what I do is I go to this tool here, which is the Kindlepreneur. Um, dot com uh, Amazon book description generator. So this you just literally go to this uh, web page. This is what it is here, and literally paste your uh, description in here. And then what I like to do is just highlight this one, go bold, italic, and say a heading one, and then come down to features and bold and italicize that. In this little group here, I like to highlight that and put it on a bullet list. Same on the next line, so you highlight that, bold italicize, bullet list these, and then this one here at the bottom, we just bold italicize and heading two. And then it says generate my code, that so gives you all this, bold it all out for you, right click and copy it. Copy the code there, um, come to the bottom of the notepad and paste it in here. Just push it down just a little bit and then save file. And then what I like to do is go back to my search and find title and highlight that, drop that down, pull my face out of the way so you don't have to look at my face, close that one out. And then I'm going to go and sign in to my Kindle. Go through the uh, steps here. Sign in. And then we're on here. Let's see what cut we review there. If I just click uh, hope back, it's going to log me out again. Paste, uh, sign in again over here. And, and it's took me to my book title. So we go on here. Paste in the title, search and find puzzle, come back to the notepad, the uh, subtitle, highlight that, copy, paste that in here, then come down to this one, my author name for this one is s.n over 2, and then the publishing, publishing, 
then this section nothing else needs to be filled in there so then we come back down to this description highlight all this and right click and copy drop that down go to here and paste and we own the copyright and then here is your seven end uh, back end keywords which is the list here um, so we'll highlight this one copy paste it on the first line and that's all gone in nice one, two three four four spaces left so we're really going to get nothing in there go back to the second line it's just, just a little bit over so we should be able to get that in the second line numbers it's gone away right at the end next one copy into here and it's took it all as well nice then this one come back down place that in this one and it hasn't took that so we'll take that last two letters off and we'll move that dad over to the next line pull this one up and see if we can get all that in there probably not move that to the next one up there and paste yep that's all gone in i think no didn't take the brain so we'll move that to the next line pull this one back up and we'll go to up to adults here see if it takes all of that copy next one paste and it's only gone to adult it's left the s off so we can just delete that one move that to the next line from there and then pull that one back up so that one i'm going to take them two off and then just go right through to there i don't see the same as math maps searching and dementia copy and see what that fits in didn't quite give me dementia so i'm going to take that senior and just have the seniors and then put the a back on that so that's that one okay so then come back here we're going to take out senior so we'll take that out and it's perfect like that we'll save that file again save that's that one and then categories what i like to do is go back and get my title can't wait and then i have another page here open up another browser and it's kdp category browser just go on to here, paste your title in, uh, hit search, and it's not giving me nothing, so let's put the book on the end of that. Let's see what that gives us. <laughs> Always a buy in it. Let's do puzzle books. There you go. Let's give us some ideas. So you've got Juvenile fiction, two books, five percent, books, like that. Two books, activity books, could be that one. Not really much else in there. So we'll have a look for anyway. So we've got activity books. It's all non fiction. So we go back down to here, guys. Hit categories. Let's go. What was it? Juvenile fiction, activity books. So juvenile fiction, activity books, we'll do that one. And then we'll go, I think it's non-fiction, could be craft and hobbies. Um, I think where it was. Um, Crafting to it could be. I'm looking for puzzles. I'm sure, it's under this one. Where was it? I can't remember where it is. The shiver. Uh, 
it might not be under that one. I'm trying to think. It might be under um, juvenile non-fiction activity books. Life and games activities. Puzzles, there it is. So that, yeah, that was juvenile non-fiction come down to games and activities and then puzzles. So, so that's that too, that's okay. Click save. Large print, it's not a large print. I suppose you could be under that puzzle uh, mastery. And then click, uh, it's okay for children. So yeah, save, continue. Uh, we get a BS, ISBN number. That's done. Publishing date. We'll put that to day. This is black and white. And the trim size is not a 6 by 9. So we have to go in here and change it. It's a 8.5 by 11. So we we'll hit that. It's no bleed. It's no bleed. It's matte finish. And then we upload our manuscript. And it's in this one. I'm going to go to here. And a large icons again so I can see it. It's the uh, hit the PDF, click open, and it will upload. Most of you guys have seen me do this before, members and that, um, so you know what it's all about. Click this one, upload the cover, click this one, open. A few seconds, let that load. We're waiting for the launcher, pre launcher. Let's see if we've done all the sizes right and we can upload. It's not up a cigarette because this bit may take a bit of time. Oh, it opens up. This is the bit where we sit and wait, guys. <laughs> Sometimes it can take five minutes, sometimes it can take 20 minutes. Right, emails, uh, let's see what I've got on here going. Um, I did uh, find some more yesterday as well, while that's loading. Give you some more here, guys. There's one or two. This is a big list I've got here of everything I've got here. Um, but this one here, Coloring books for kids age three to five cars. Coloring books for adult swear words. I have one one of these already, um, which is done fairly well. I think it's at about six cells, it's only a few weeks old. Uh, and then this one we're testing out now. Uh, we're going to test that today and a little bit more on, on these uh, coloring books. Um, so hopefully uh, we'll get a few more books going. Might do some videos on this as well, how we create these uh, little colouring books for uh, kids um, and see what we can get on that. So just checking the fonts. So we'll have to wait for this to come through. But while I'm here, guys, um, this little uh, bit here, what I did the other day in the first video, these uh, three videos, I think it is now. Um, this section here, guys, where we do the, I actually run through the uh, Publisher Rocket keywords, do this, get the search volumes, find the keywords, put the scores on, find the percentages. Um, if you're interested, guys, please leave me a comment down below and I'll make this part of my, um, I do this every Sunday um, and get my lists. This is some of my lists here. Um, for this week, this is all the books I'm making so far this week. So all of these and then obviously all of these here and we've just gone in the back We'll have a look in a sec. But yeah, if you're interested I might start doing this on video to get all of these keywords get a list uh, where I've got the greens here greens and embers if I could provide maybe uh, Let's say if we did two books a day for the week so that's seven that's 14 books so if i could provide you 14 keywords on the green and maybe the ambers 
see what we can find. Um, that gives you 14 high targeted keywords, search volume, the scores, percentage, and the greens, um, that you can work on during the week. So if I do that live on video on Sunday, it may take a while. Um, you don't necessarily have to sit through it with me. Um, you can always go and pick up uh, Publishing Rocket yourself and run through this. And um, the self-publishing title tool is free anyway. Um, but if you need the Publishing Rocket, I mean, I can do this um, live for uh, members. I'm going to do this. Like I will. Well, I'll do it live on the videos, guys. So if you if you join me live, you'll be able to see it on the videos. Um, and then. If you want the files, um, I will be posting them into my membership. So if you want the related files, you can copy me while I'm on the video. Um, but if you want the actual files, we're going to put them maybe into the membership. Um, so you can come in, join this member, and then you get these every Sunday um, if that's what you choose. If you'd like me to do that, guys, then please leave a comment down below um, if you're interested. And I'll get that arranged. If we get enough interest, we'll get that done. All right, guys. So let's, uh, the book's gone into the preview at the back. So let's have a look. Um, let's move my face down a little bit. So as you can see, it says here, we've got fonts probably not embedded. Um, it's two, and they've embedded it for me. Yeah, I think they've, they'll, they'll embed that. I'll tell you what that is. It's a little bit on the top of puzzle mastery where it says puzzle one puzzle two i'll show you in a sec um sometimes they don't embed properly it comes up most times on, on them books uh, i don't know if there's a fix for it uh, ken blutman uh, if you can uh, sort that out mate <laughs> <coughs> excuse me so as you can see the book's nice and near nice little design in the front uh, sizing is right there it's all the trim, it's all inside the trim, it's inside the spine, everything's looking fine. So you click this one, check our pages, there's our uh, title page, there's our first number page, and there it is, guys. Let's see that bit where it's not embedded. I think they're a little bit small, um, so they don't, they don't seem to embed properly, but it's never been a problem as such. They just highlight it here on most of them. So there's our pages, guys. So you've got the number, uh, puzzle one, puzzle two, all the numbers, next one, and everything's inside the border. So looking, looking good. We ain't got to run for all the pages, but we just go to near the back to see the uh, solutions. So 100, and next one, there. There's all the uh, solutions for puzzle one, puzzle two, three, four, five, six, and so on and so on, all the way through the book. So yeah, all looking good. And then we approve. That should go through. That's all gone, all done, all gone through there. And the printing cost for this book is $2.36. We click save and continue and it should go on to the pricing so here is the pricing you can drop this down we can do expanded distribution as well but before i do that i just want to go back here and i've got so to find it some searching i was doing uh some puzzle Let's go books. Uh, let's go number. Just to do this to get the average price in the water they're coming up at. Whoa. Hold on. 500 puzzles, 12.95. A thousand puzzles. 17, thousand puzzles, 17, word search, 15, number search, five, 599, 100 puzzles plus 
100 plus puzzle, so yeah, 599. Uh, 7.99. It's just straight 100 pounds. Not a bad price. 7.99. 12 reviews. Oh, 750. 15 quid. 15. 11. So yeah, I think we'll go 7. 7.99 on that. 7.19. 7 7.95. Look. 500. Yeah, yeah, we'll go for uh, seven ninety nine like that one. It's about average what I do in most of my books. So there we'll go seven ninety nine, and it will give us the what is what we get here. So in uh, America dot com we get two forty three, two dollars and forty three, and in the UK we'll get for that price it drops a little bit here, but it's the equivalent. 175 so yeah that, i'm happy with that and I, I don't even look at these after time um as long as i know what i'm getting here and here this is me anyway i'm in the uk so we can see 175 a book so for every 10 we sell we're getting about a tenner which ain't bad i suppose you don't know, get a viral book and it uh, goes off you can earn some good money so then you just click publish your paperback book and it should go saving and then pop up done so it should take 70 up to 72 hours it might be taking a little bit longer at the moment some of my books are still in review for about three or four days um so we'll close that and there it is guys it's in it's uploaded it's in review okay a couple of my other ones still in review there christmas one in one in review there and some more there all live and uh, see if we had any sales to die None come in today. Got a few here. Got nine on the uh, or eight on the uh, expanded distribution yesterday. That comes in once a month plus one paperback. Uh, a couple of reads on Kindle there. So yeah, bit of a slow month this month. But hopefully it should uh, all start picking up for Q4, which it is starting to. Um, a few extra sales are coming in now. Coming in a bit uh, closer together as you can see then. So yeah, that's it guys. That's all the process done. Um, I like to keep this all listed out like this in a, a notepad. So I'll provide um, one of these notepads for you in the description with, obviously not with all this, take this out. It'll just be this bit, this bit, the book, description, buy, and then your subtitle and title. Um, and then I'll list this bit here. Well, it won't be the keywords because you put your own keywords in for your own books. But yeah, I just like to keep it like that. And I can save this, close that out. And then in the folder here, it's open here. It's all listed in this folder now. So I've got the files of the two books when we first made these. That was the puzzle book. That's the title page. And go back. That's the main book. There was a couple of images there. 7, the 4, the 2 and the 1, the PDF, the PDF cover and their title page. That's it, done. Close that out. That's all in there in a file. When that goes live, I then move that over to here. So it's all my low content books are all in here. So you can see, look, books for kids, books for sale, budget notebook, sex card game, chores for kids book, Christmas books. Christmas journals, Christmas wish list, notebooks, uh, colouring sheets for Halloween, and you can see this, the list just goes on there. And uh, inside here, there's even more because they're just kids' books. So that's how we list it all and I keep it all organised in these folders. That uh, goes in there and in there. That's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that little mini series. Uh, so far what we've done in, in the process and hopefully you can uh, come back and uh, get some more training from me from my membership click that subscribe button down there and that bell icon and if you know if you like what you're seeing and want some more trainings and like I said if you do fancy getting your hands on this lot just let me know in the comments below um, go back and watch the first video. You'll see me doing this live of what we actually got, uh, run through. 
and um, yeah if you're interested let me know in the comments um, and uh, we'll get you all set up um, to do this on a Sunday so I'll make the videos on a Sunday I might even do it live on uh, a zoom video and this is a zoom video I'm recording now so you can join me on the zoom and then we can uh, I'll record it as we go and maybe you could even give me your uh, niches that you want me to run through in uh, Publisher Rocket. I'll run them through for people that haven't got it. You know, if you fancy me running that through for you, I can do it and do it live and then get these search things for the good keywords, the good scores here, and then we'll run them through the self publishing titans and we'll do that all in video. Uh, if you fancy that, guys. Please, as I say, just let me know in the comments and we'll try and do that every Sunday. I mean, I'm doing it anyway for myself. So if it helps people out and, uh, and get you going on that, we'll, uh, we'll sort that out. So, yeah, just leave me a comment uh, interested in the uh, self-publishing titans and publisher rocket keyword research. I'll just put in keyword research and then I'll know what you all, all want. <laughs> all right, guys. So, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch up with you soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.